Hi everybody. Uh, today I have a really neat feature I want to show you, which is how to use Exchange on your iPhone with Gmail. Now Google just came out with a new feature that you can use the uh, iPhone to use Exchange with their calendar and contacts on the Gmail account that you might have already. So if you're interested in this, let me just explain to you what Exchange does uh, briefly for those that don't know. Uh, when you have an Exchange server, all your information is is there. So let's say you have a computer and an iPhone. With Exchange, all the information you change here will reflect on that computer there. And also vice versa, anything you do here will reflect here. So if you add contacts here, they will show up in your iPhone. If you change them or delete them here, they will show up on the computer as well because the central server holds all that information. Okay. Well, in this case, you know, all your information is in the cloud with, G, with, with the Gmail account and with Google. So uh, if you add your calendar and your contacts on the, your Gmail account, you can configure your iPhone to use Exchange and it's free and you'll be able to sync real time your contacts and your calendar with your Gmail account. So any changes you make there will reflect on your iPhone and vice versa. In the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to configure this. It's completely free and uh, I think it's a really neat feature because other than uh, using the uh, feature that Apple has with their service, the mobile me, uh, then this is an alternative because it's completely free and you don't have to have an exchange server which is expensive and someone has to maintain it. So definitely so stay tuned for the next few minutes and check this out. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching all my videos. Alrighty, so here I am at the main screen uh, on the iPhone on the home screen, and uh, the easiest way we can go about setting up the Google Sync uh, for to have Exchange on your iPhone is uh, first click on Settings, and it's going to open up a new window, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to scroll down a little bit, or you see it at the very bottom where it says Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. You're going to tap on that and you're going to get an option that's going to come up and you're going to choose the one that says add account. And the first, you know, you're going to see a bunch of options here, but the first one you see is Microsoft Exchange and that's the one we want to configure. So click on that one or tap on that one. It's going to open up a new window. You have to fill in the blanks. Remember that you have to have a Gmail account for this to work. Uh, if you do not have one, just go to gmail.com and you'll be able to sign up for a free account right there and there. Um, if you already have an account, then you're ready to go. I'm going to pre-fill in the blanks and uh, I'm going to show you how this works. Alright, I pre-filled uh, pre all the, um, the fields here. So on the first one, you're going to put your email address, which is uh, you know your full Gmail account uh, email address for your account. And uh, then you're going to go to the username and on the username, you're going to also put your email address uh, there, your Gmail account. Uh, put your password and then it's going to show you a description at the very bottom for that account that you currently have now. Once you're ready to go and you did that, click next and it's going to uh, have a pop-up that's going to come up that's going to say unable to verify certificate. Don't worry about that because it, for some reason or other it always comes up but just click accept and it's going to go ahead and configure itself and uh, it's going to show you uh, a new line here, it's going to say server. On that server line, it's a very important you have to put m.google.com. Okay, so once you did that, you're ready to go. Click next, and it's gonna verify the account. And once it does, and it's verified, it's gonna go give you three options: mail, contacts, and calendars. You're gonna go ahead and turn off the mail one, and you're gonna leave the contacts and the calendar, which will sync real time with your uh, Google uh, account, with your Gmail account. So now, anything you do in your contacts will reflect on your iPhone, and vice versa. If you do it on your iPhone, it's gonna reflect on there. I'm going to show you a neat way that uh, on your calendar, I mean, I'll show you, sorry, your contacts, when you add a contact on Gmail, you can actually put a little picture for that person, and when you sync up, it will show up as well. Anyway, let me get back to this real quick. We're going to choose Done, and it's going to take you back to the main screen where it already has the account configured. So now here it shows you the account, and the account is ready to go. I'm going to press the Home button to take me back to the main screen where everything is. And uh, I'm going to show you real quick the contacts option. When you go to contacts, I have a contact already here named John Doe. So I'm going to click on John Doe and it's going to show me a little picture for that person and all the information I have for that person right now. And I'm going to show you real quick on my Gmail account how that works. Let me go to all contacts again and let me get out of here. And now I'm going to show you the calendar. I added a, a dummy um, information there so you could see it, just like I did with the contacts, so you can have an example. 
And on the 25th here, I added an event. So it says, all day, post video on my blog, and, and if you press it on it, it'll tell you all the information for that particular um, you know, time that I put on the calendar. Now, what's neat about this is that this is actually, I, I did this on my Gmail account, and it's showing up here. And if I make any changes here, they'll reflect there as well. So I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to show you in a second on Gmail how that works. Okay, I'm logged in here into my Gmail account, and I go to contacts, and I'm going to show you real quick here. I have the John Doe account that I created, and when you uh, add it, and you put all the information for the person, on the right-hand side, it gives you an option to add a picture, and it says change picture. You can choose the picture, and you can crop it with the, the way it, it pops up, and you could do that, so you can get it to look right, and what's neat about it is that it will sync with your iPhone, so now you have your friends or family pictures showing up when the phone rings, which is really neat. Uh, the calendar I'm going to show you how that also works okay here I have the calendar as well and you see on the 25th the same thing that shows on the iPhone I have it here as well so it's actually showing me the information that I have so if I make changes to this and let me see if I can uh, click here a second I'm gonna change the event I wanted to make a little sample for you so you could see on the left I have the iPhone and on the right I have the Google Calendar and I just wanted to show you how this actually works and how uh, when you make changes it actually reflects those changes for example the original post I made for my calendar I put post video on my blog where I'm gonna actually put here and I'm gonna change this to upload video okay so now I have that and I'm gonna click save now that information changed and uh, it shows you that your event was updated and then on my iPhone if I come to the calendar it should show me the new option that you know the new information see now it says upload video on my blog so whatever I change here it changes here so this is a really neat feature and it's awesome that Google has it for free so now you have exchange on your iPhone completely free and you can have your contacts and calendar in sync thank you I appreciate it I hope this video was useful for you and thank you for watching